Good morning! If you recall, uh, about roughly about this time last year, we cut down a big, huge pine tree that was dead. What about the trailer? Oh my god, the trailer! Oh my god, the trailer! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Um, we were actually had bought our camper trailer and we were that we had originally planned on moving out to the pasture temporarily while we were building. Um, obviously those plans fell through, but we had this old dead pine tree that was um, kind of dangerous because it was dead and we didn't know there was always big branches falling off that never knew when it was going to come down and we just didn't want it falling on either on us or on the camper that we just got. So we cut it down and as you can see behind me, it's still there. We've just been so busy, we haven't been able to cut it up, and we also needed something to get it up off of the ground um, so that we could actually cut it up. So Davis found this uh, tool at Tractor Supply, so we thought we would share it. We're gonna try it out. Hopefully it works. Um, and maybe it might help some of you. So I'm gonna, we're gonna show you this. Uh, well, we got a, what we found was a log jack, and you can cut your trees laying on the ground. The bad part is you, about cutting trees on the ground is being able to roll it because you don't want your chainsaw blade to hit the dirt ever. Uh, as soon as your chainsaw blade hits the dirt, that, that blade is dull. You're going to have to resharpen that blade. Uh, so we found the log jack. It's a pretty simple design. We'll see how well it can lift. I know it, it can definitely lift the top of the tree. We're, I'm curious to see how well it's going to be able to lift the big end of the tree, the base of the tree. Uh, but it, it's a simple tool. You stick it on there. Even if you don't use the stand, you can always use just the claws to help turn the log if the log is small enough to just be turned on the ground and you don't want to lift it up. Uh, just to get keep your chainsaw out of the dirt. You don't want that blade to ever hit the dirt. It, it's going to ruin your blades. Um, so we'll get this out and show you what it looks like. All right, uh, so this will require just a little bit of assembly just to put all your hammer pieces together. You got your, your two pieces right here. This is your handle, literally just slides in and screw it down. That's it. Just give her a twist, lock her down. Then you got, these are part of your claw system right here. So the main one already has your first claw right here. So you put your, this is your stand handle right here. Slides in, give her a couple smacks, make sure your lines, your holes line up. So you got your hardware. Alright, so I grabbed a couple 17s. I believe you can use uh, also a 11-16 uh, as well if you don't have any uh, 17s or anything. Alright, then you take your other hook, which is meant to be loose. It's meant to move around. So you get her set in there. Get your holes lined up. Same process. And then that can move back and forth. That's going to be your hook for your log. So now, let's go give her a try. Oh, this is going to be. And as you can see, this is movable very freely. So please make sure your hands and arms are out of the way. This spike is sharp and it will puncture you if you allow it to slam into your arm. Keep that in mind. So we'll try to give her a big pull. Hopefully if we can find a uh, spot that's not too rotten, we'll see how she does. Yeah, this tree's been sitting here for a year. Oh, shoot. That's pretty rotten. That looks totally rotten. Well, she's also heavy and waterlogged as well. Yeah. Better on fresher trees. Oh, 
Oh, it's budging. Yeah, the problem is the bar's bending. Okay, so not for a full size 20, oh. 30 foot pine tree. <laughs> No, good try. Alright, so we'll go back to the drawing board. Alright, back to the good old T post. No scare a cow though. Hi Axel. No, I'll scare it. I see the dirt's too soft. Yeah. We'll need something to put underneath this as well. Oh. oh, almost worked. Um, hmm. There's a uh, fence post over there. Can you grab that? Yeah. Lift it. You want to turn the uh, T post over and it can bend it back straight? <laughs> My problem is the T post ain't strong enough. It's working. It's getting it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah look, it's just bending the T post up. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Bend her back. Yeah, she <laughs> said bend her back. Oh. Well, that was a thought. Hmm. The T post just ain't strong enough. Yeah. Any more chin scratches? Oh, any more chin scratches? Do you want those chin scratches? Oh yes, he loves the chin scratches. Oh, and the arm licks. <laughs> That's such a good boy, Axel. Sorry, there's a shirt on that side. You can't get that one. Alright. Watch him, babe. I know, he's getting all excited now. <laughs> he's like, hey, I didn't tell you you could stop. <laughs> That's lifting it up. So, regular fence posts are working. I got all my feet off the ground. <laughs> up. You're gonna take this one out mm -hmm. and bring it back over here. Closer. Okay. All right, babe. Oh, look, it's ha it's actually hanging, babe. Look, there's a gap over here. You did it. I 
my grass too soft. Yeah. We're gonna give this one another try. All right, so now that we got it out of the uh, little uh, divot where it was kind of be sunk into the ground and dirt had built up around it, we're gonna try and give this another try. It's like the outer layer is just rotting off, even under the bark. There we go. There we go. Starting to work. Yeah, but it ain't gonna get up on the stand. Oh. Take something and wedge it. Okay, all right. We wedged a post to keep it from rolling back and him losing progress. He just reset the uh, log. Jack. Now he's going to try and get it to turn more. Oh, we got another gap, babe. Actually, babe, hold on. I wonder because I we... I need this in the air. Oh, okay. I can't just cut right here. The wood will get pinched. Okay. You can't yeah. cut on a gap like that unless both ends are supported. Gotcha. Oh, oh okay. We lost our wedge. Okay. I think I can hit that. It's a shame it won't get up on the stand. Uh, it's a shame it won't get up on the stand. I think it just might be too heavy. Yeah. But she's rolling now. Yeah. We got a lot of clearance in the middle as well. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wonder if we could maybe move down and start so down at that uh, end. Take this post right here. Mm-hmm. Stand. Yeah, there's a big, huge gap uh, now. With it right here. Uh huh. That anyway, way, in case she starts rolling, that's gonna wedge it. What I'm thinking we're gonna do, mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy in half. Okay. Yeah, because it's supported now. Yeah, support it here. On the other side of our cut. And that's gonna keep her up off the ground. Yeah. Well, we make our first cut. All right, cut it in half. That's definitely gonna be easier. I'm pretty sure I got enough clearance. Yeah, it looks like it. You got, let's see if I can show you guys. Yeah, you can like see through down here. I'd say you probably got about four or five inches. Well, the biggest thing is getting your blade underneath without touching the grass. Yeah. Because you gotta put your relief cut underneath. Ah. Success! It's a mighty fine log, baby. <laughs> Can't be saying that on the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! That'd make a nice seat. Yeah. I'm also over here sitting here thinking Sophie's gonna love jumping on her new logs. That's way too high for me. 
Oh yeah. We'll be here for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Yay, we did it! So that's not light or not in there. Like we were thinking it might be. Oh no, it takes years. years well, because they saw this whenever we cut it down and they thought that it might be light or not throughout the center center. No, it's usually only the stumps. See, that's that's more mold. That's like dried up sap right here. Well, whenever they cut it down, it was a uniquely different color from the rest before yeah, it that's, molded. That's just dry. No, it's not even mold. It's dried up. It's dry sap. Oh. Is what that is. Yay! That's all the sap from inside the trunk that seeped up. Uh, that's what pine trees do. That's what the sap is for. It's just mm -hmm. like you bleeding. Yeah. They bleed to clot the wound. And that's what that did. They, it, it soaked the sap up. You can see right here, this is where the tree was rotten. Yeah. Around was... the base. It was only connected still right here in the middle. Yeah. And that's where all the, see how gooey look, the sap is still Yee. soft. Um, if you let this sit for maybe another 10 years, then yeah, you might get a good chunk of lighter knot out of that. Yeah. But we're not going to do that because I don't want to stump Light, in the middle of the Lighter knot is petrified wood. Yeah, which we it, got plenty of that out in here. It took a long time for the wood to petrify. This tree was still alive. Just, it was just rotting. Yeah, it was dying. It still had green growth on the top of it. Did it? Yeah. I thought it had like nothing but, but it, dead. But it was like half dead, half alive. It was, yeah. it was barely, barely, barely holding on. Now that one over there, the one that's dead, dead, we might get some lighter knot off the top of that one. Yeah, we've got a lot of lighter knot in in the property, especially you know that in the one wooded area. That, that was over <laughs> there. Usually, it takes being buried to become lighter knot. Oh, uh oh, ants. Ugh. All right, give this another shot. They let go of the log. Ugh. But it's just, it's not, the, the log's just breaking up on the surface. Oh, did you get a good grip? Whoops. You okay? Yeah, it's just, it's like, like, like we were looking at all that rot on the exterior. It's just falling apart. Go, go, go. Alright, so uh, no one on this log jack. Yeah, it's slipping a lot. But I mean, like, look, at, just, just looking at all the rot on the exterior, there's at least two, two to three inches in certain areas of rot. And it just crumbles. So this is probably just a bad tree to test this out on, too. Yeah, it's just ripping through it. Um, what if I tried on the other side with the log, try to help push it onto the thing so we can get it up in the air? You think that would work? Well, you're talking about the fence Yeah. You can try. So that one long one right there, that is, my mom has requested a four foot piece. She's going to do something with it. She's got some project she wants, but it's all chopped up. We're going to let it dry out in the sun for a week. It'll be easier to lift and move. And then we will start purposing them. Davis cut some for seats. Yeah, maybe, uh, yeah we'll cut those in the seats. Um, take the chainsaw, we'll chop it into, you know, a little seat. That way you have a back to the seat. Have some fun. So we got some short that, ones. That's what I can do because you're you're worried about the taller ones. But what I'm gonna do is this one right here is for you. I wanna take it right here. We're gonna cut it straight across, come down about three, four inches, and come straight back across this way. That's gonna make a little Ooh. a little lower backrest for you. You're gonna get fancy, baby. And then uh, some of these smaller ones, these thinner ones right here, we can take and uh, take some hole saw bits drill some holes down, chisel them out, make cup holders and make a little tabletop and whatnot. Ooh, maybe save one. That one could be Leon's. That one's a good height for Leon. Um, 
We're actually here. You, you were going to make that one. You can make that one, Leon's. Because with the height of it, once you cut out the back, that'd be perfect for yeah, Leon. Yeah, so two seats. Turn that one into a little three, three cup. Uh, table. Table. Okay, so we're finished up now. Um, <laughs> we grabbed the measuring tape and we measured the diameter of the tree. So the log jack was supposed to be able to do up to 13.75 inch in diameter logs. Um, at the base, it was 22 inches. So this was this tree was a lot wider than it was meant to do. That's our fault. Um, once we got down to the, um, our fault. we put it to the test. Yeah, we put it to the test. We really, really put it to the test today. <laughs> um, so with it's, help, it's true to its word that it's only going to be able to handle up to a third. I would say, depending on who's using it, up to a 13 inch in diameter at the base. Yeah. Um, once the tree was cut and the weight was manageable, the the width of the tree didn't matter at that point. Uh, but this was a 30 foot long tree. Yeah. And the, the base was 22 to 18 inches uh, thickness, so we were definitely a lot thicker at the bottom end. Um, so that would that would account for why the pole was bending yeah. more or less. I'm still sticking to what I originally said. It is it is a little cheap, being that it's hollow metal. Um, the hollow metal is just going to bend a lot easier. There doesn't feel like there's anything on the inside to help stiffen it up. Um, but if you have a smaller tree that is to that 13 inch at the base, uh, it, it'll probably be able to handle it pretty good. Yeah. So um, this one we were able to use it, but it. As you can see, we had to help it with two buys. We had to help it with fence posts just to get it to roll up onto the uh, the jack stand. It didn't want to make that that kick up. Uh, every time it went to go kick up, these claws were 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 uh, uh, unsticking. They were they were pulling through the wood, tearing through the wood. Uh, so we were having a lot of issues with that getting it to actually kick up onto the stand. You guys, if you want, if you want to try it out for yourself, now that you've seen what we've done with it, I'll leave a link to where you can find it down below. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can get you guys a discount code as well. I'll see what I can do. And if you guys know any jack log jack stands that you want us to test, send them our way. We'll we'll check them out, and uh, we got a couple more trees out here that need to come down, some big, some small, and uh, be glad to put it to the test. Yep, lots of trees. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed our little uh, escapade out here. I'm just happy that it's finally cut up. <laughs> so we're going to let them uh, dry in the sun for a week and then two we'll weeks. come out two weeks. We'll come out back out and we'll clean them up and uh, do all the stuffs with them.